Welcome back to RimWorld. Now, hopefully, you guys won't have noticed, but it's been six days since I last recorded an episode, so I'll be a little bit rusty here, and I've got to completely re-familiarize myself with whatever the hell it was I was doing last. I remember thinking before I started next episode, I need to finish the base building, but it seems like all I had left to do was change some of the floor. So feel free to point in the comments if you notice any difference between last episode and this episode, just for, um, just for the people who haven't noticed, because I myself... I'm not entirely sure what's changed, because again, it's been six days since I last played this because of the whole Christmas thing that happened. So, we're looking pretty good right now. I basically spent the past few episodes completely redesigning the base, and I think it looks pretty decent right now. So, we've obviously got like a little bit of a power area here. Um, I expanded the hospital out a little bit as well. Mass cloning area here and lots of cryo sleep caskets so that when they're done, we can uh, put them into deep sleep so that we can upgrade them before we actually send them into battle. Uh, big storage area too. That was one of the things I was really struggling with was, was actually, you know, keeping... At all of the shit that we had, right? Um, probably one of the best problems you could have. But I've, I've actually cordoned these out into proper sections as well. So this one's like raw resources, materials. This one is manufactured and items. We've got apparel and... Uh, apparel? Why wow, did I already say that? Apparel and weapons. So that way we can at least see what we've got. See what's using up the most storage. Right now I think we might just want to burn a shit ton of this stuff. Because it's not very useful. Now one of you even pointed out last episode that... Um, I was wrong on the way that these are on the on the way apparel is marked. So one of you said that under here it's still marked as tainted somewhere. I've God knows where you've seen this, but uh, it might still be worth burning some of this old enchanted stuff because it's not as useful as I thought. You know, I thought I thought that they didn't have the tainted debuff, but apparently it still does. So you might just want to torch that, get it out of the way. I have reduced the titanium walls. That's one thing I remember actively doing. I've reduced the titanium walls because some of the raids we had, they weren't particularly challenging but they were pretty ridiculous you know it wasn't uh, it wasn't a challenging raid but the game was just throwing numbers at us you know like 50 60 weak pirates that's not really going to threaten us too much like a mechanoid ship dropping in the middle of the base or like um commandos dropping in on pods right through the top that would definitely be a problem before i can get people into position but as it stands now the raids aren't too difficult they're just kind of annoying so i've reduced the titanium wall so that any raids that we do get might be a little more um smaller but P perhaps more threatening, I don't really know. The wealth is probably all over the place. Let's check the history. Oh my god. Yeah, it didn't help very much. This is probably where I removed the titanium walls here. This very slight dip, but obviously expanding all the other places has increases up there. So we got the extra nuclear power plants from the trade ship, because apparently those things are just plug and play. You can actually reinstall these basically wherever you want. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, we also got that alpha poly bed as well, I remember. This is looking pretty good. We got like this little uh, medicine and bionics manufacturing area here. Yeah, I'm happy with how this is, and our sort of very, very small factory, but this this could do with a, a complete redesign as well. We don't, apparently don't have power going to some of these lights. Oh yeah, shit, I really need to do the power grid again. Now, the actual floor in the stockpile isn't finished yet, which is why it looks so ugly. I might even be tempted to turn the zones off or something like that, just because it looks, it looks kind of hideous right now. That's something I've got to finish up. I've also set them to basically um, use paved tiles everywhere, because we have a ridiculous amount of steel. Can we, can we actually pull up steel... Uh, yeah, we've got 1,667 steel. Now, bear in mind, that's before I put down all these floors. Each one of these takes two steel, and I think I put down, well, I mean, a ridiculous amount of them. You can clearly see it. It's everywhere I've paved over here. Just to try and keep the dirt under control so it looks kind of more like a nice factory base. It's going to look pretty decent anyway. Now, not only that, but we've also got a lot of those mechanoid monstrosities I was sort of crossbreeding over the past few episodes. What have we got? We've got a muffalo. We've got a bear. Um, what is that thing? Mecha lope. Mecha wolf. Um, a spider died. Oh, Dave killed it. That's what we were going to do. We were going to torture Dave for, for killing off probably my best crossbreeding um, animal there. So I think, what if you came up with a really good idea? Take Dave, pull out all his organs and just leave him on life support as, as a shell of his former self. I think that's a really cool idea. Only downside is everyone's going to be unhappy, but I mean, everyone's pretty ecstatic right now. Dobson is kind of, what's up with you, Dobson? Why are you so sad? Um, oh, he's ascetic. So, so I've been reading through the comments because that's basically all I could do while I was, you know, off traveling for Christmas. Um, a lot of you point out, you know, I've got night owls that I haven't managed. I've got a seat that I haven't managed. So that's something I also need to take a look at. So this guy here, um, Dobson. Now, you're not in a relationship with, with anyone, are you? I don't need to worry about ruining someone else's bedroom as well. Um, no. Sister, friend, no, that's absolutely fine. So we're going to find Dobson's bedroom and just pull out all the stuff in it. Um, Dobson, do you even have a bedroom? You do. Right, so he's a CT. So what I'm going to do then is... Basically, just go ahead and uninstall all of this, just in case we get any more colonists. Oh, I've also installed a really cool mod. I'll show you that one in a second. One thing I have seen a lot of, and, and these are actually comments I've seen appearing on the Steam page, is that the load order for the Steam mod collection, available in the description, if, for those of you who want to recreate this in, in your own safe game, 
it it isn't plug and play. You can't just subscribe to it and play. You do have to move the load order around a lot. I have done what I can with it, but unfortunately I can't edit the mod pack anymore for whatever reason. So you can blame Steam for that. Blame Gabe Newell and his millions and millions of dollars. Fortunately, I can't re-edit it. So, sorry. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know what I could do there, short of making a completely fresh one, but that'll take a while. I could do that if there's enough demand for it, though. I'm, I'm more than happy to do that. So, a seating. What, what, I guess we'll just put a bed in a room. I, I mean, why not? I, I'm not going to do anything else for them, honestly. Go ahead and uninstall the bed as well. Um, uninstall that and get Donuts to... Things I want to, I want them to be comfortable though, but I don't want them to be. I don't want. I don't want to get that that acetic debuff. Right, that should probably do right. Uh, prioritize construction wooden bed. Now, one of you even said that they possibly eat raw food. I, I'm almost certain that you're right on that one as well. Um, there is plenty of raw food to go around, so I don't know if they'll just default to that. Maybe if I could go to Dobson actually mark him as um, food, just simple or, or raw. We'll give it a go. Maybe that will work. I know it increases the chance of getting like food poisoning and stuff. Maybe that will make him happier because he's getting like raw food and we've sorted out the bedroom. I just want to do some lots sort of like mini management while I get back into the game. But one of the big things I did want to do is launch a major raid on somebody. So we've got all these factions nearby. Particularly in the early game, we were bothered by what was it? The, the um, Ted Loner Confederation, I think they were called. Um, where are they? Yeah, these boys. Pump, Pumpville. Of course, it's called friggin' Pumpville. Um, Ted Lander's Mountain Confederation were the guys in the early game that were really fucking us up. They were the ones that kidnapped on it. They were the ones that kidnapped um, his brother Mason as well. So I think it's time to get a bit of revenge and kidnap some of their guys. Bring them back. You know, maybe pull out all the organs, keep them on life support. Try and genetically engineer them somewhat. You know, just be a general nice guy to them um, as payback for taking our boys on holiday. So here's the plan. I think we clone a shit ton of robots. Now, I don't want to use the robots for our main bulk of our army. I do want to use these creatures. But until we can get a more reliable source of genetics, it's a little clunky. I think until we've got the clone base set, because the clone base, what we could do, clone a bunch of humans and then just grind them up into, um, what is it? Just grind them up into their genetic information. So like these things, so the humanoid genetic material. Then what we can do is we can run that through the gene extraction tables, because obviously five humanoid becomes anything, right? We could just grind up five clones into anything and keep trying our luck. Now, the problem with this is the cloning machines are quite uh, a massive pain in the ass. Let me phrase it that way. They're a massive pain in the ass to keep these things going. I'm going to build a second one, though, and we'll go ahead and clone somebody. Because I also have some other cool mods that I really wanted to try out. This was on the Steam Most Popular page earlier today. Um, we probably have to research, actually. Let me see if I can find it here. Uh, brain in a jar. There it is. Okay. Oh, well, that was a lot easier than I thought. What the heck? Where is it? Hey, there it is. So what this allows you to do um, is you can pull out people's brains, plug them into machines. Now that gives a bonus to, uh, as it says, their research speed. There are also multiple levels of this. There's like multi-brain processing, which I think is pretty, um, pretty creepy, pretty like very Matrix. So I'm a big fan of that. I, I kind of want to do that first and foremost. So we are going to need some brains to put in jars in the first place. So why not send the Deathbot army out to the Ted Loner Man's Confederation, kidnap all the colonists, bring them back, put their heads in the jars to help with our research? That seems like a pretty fitting fate, right? Ah, oh, getting straight back into the war crowns. I like it. How I've missed you, Rimworld. Okay, so what we need then is to rebuild all of our AI buildings. Because obviously we're, we're quite lacking on that right now. We should have more than enough resources to do it, right? Galileo is uh, idle. Okay, what can you do then, Galileo? Let's see. Um, honestly, absolutely nothing. Okay, fair enough. Then I, I see where the problem is here. You can fish, though. Oh, I imagine the fishing. Yeah, okay. So from where we've redone the bridges and, and sort of the supports and things, we haven't got any fishing spots. So I definitely need to do that as soon as possible. It was this area here. You might remember we built like a jetty out into the ocean. That was all for the fishing area. But obviously that's gone now. So they haven't really got anything to do. So I'm going to put a couple of these down. Won't put too many because I don't want them to waste too much time fishing. I'd rather know that we have idle colonists rather than anything. What is that there? Oh, it's unroofed. I see. Oh, shit. That's a bit of a pain, eh? Um, right. So we'll put down some... Uh, terrain that's support. Oh, right, no, that, that, there we go. Okay, I see. It has to be, the, the white circle has to be on land. Okay, so we won't put down, again, too many of these. I'll put down, like, three or so. Um, put one, like, there as well. There we go, that's pretty good. They're all pretty close, I think. Nice, okay, that should help out. Oh, my God, these animals. We need to get, like, a dedicated... I mean, I, mean, I can't, like, put them into cryo sleep and wake them up when we need them for war, though, can I? We need, like, a dedicated horrible animal keeping area. I, I say horrible. A beautiful, lovely creature. Beautiful creature. Look at that. Muffalo head stapled onto just a horrible body. Right. Um, Because this is not ideal. Having them walking around our fridges, our, our sort of areas. These are these are horrible genetic monstrosities. We need, like, a whole area just for them to roam, really. Um, We can lock them inside the barn, but that seems... I was going to say that seems a bit inhuman. I feel like that ship has sailed, Brain. I feel like, in hindsight, that's, that's like, the least of our worries right now. Because we've got this literal, like, deer factory running around the base. Okay. Um, 
We could reclaim some of the swamp. One of you pointed out that I was an idiot and built bridges everywhere, everywhere rather than using moisture pumps, which is a much, much better idea. Thank you for that one. Again, I mean, I'm, I'm sort of getting back into the reward mindset of things, but it feels like every time I start catching up with the game and getting back into it, something, something comes up and I have to, like, leave it again. Right. Moisture pump. There we go. Obviously, Brain in a Jar is first and foremost here. So let's breed our Deathbot army. Let's get our colonists to work actually building them some guns as well. Because what weapons do we have lying around? Oh, you know what? We actually have some pretty decent guns, eh? Seven assault rifles. Um, five sniper rifles. We've got an incendiary launcher. We've also got a doomsday rocket launcher there as well. Um, four micro SMGs. We've got some bolt rifles. Honestly, I think sending seven assault rifles and three... Uh, what was it? Four snipers? Five snipers. Seven assault rifles, five snipers. That's 12 robots overall. If we've got six machines... So we just have each of these churn out two robots and send those guys out to their death. Now, Tay is obviously going to be our our sort of boss robot, the one in charge of all the AI. That's when we want to put the Persona Core in as well. What if he said that we might be able to harvest it? I don't think so, though. Um, that's a real shame. Uh, what if... I'm almost certain this won't work, so I think they need to be fresh. But what if we put down an autopsy bench? I'm not even sure it'll work with an animal, but we can give it a go, right? Uh, Do we not research? Aut yeah, autopsy table. Right, here we go. Thank God I expanded the hospital, because now we've actually got room for things like this. Alright, put down a couple of these where we can fit them. Uh, two is probably more than enough, to be honest with you. Could remove this wall there, and, you know, that's just there for aesthetics, because I'm a bit of a loser about that type of thing. Right, Donuts, I need you to work on this autopsy table, see if we can pull out this, uh, this Mecha Spider's, you know, AI Persona Core. Bills, so what do we want to do? Medically preserve organs with medicine. Through pristine quality supplies and training, you can harvest the organs with success chances the core worlds. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm going to assume that's the best one, then. Okay, that, that's absolutely the best one. Look at that. Skill, skill requirements are 15 for that. Wow. Uh, do we even have anybody with 15? Donit has 19. Quill actually has 14, so he's very, very close. Um, it might even be worth making it so only Quill actually can extract organs to train up his medicine. That way, eventually, we'll be able to do this one as well, right? So we'll put this one at the top of the list. Do forever, but we'll set that to only quite largely. So we won't be able to do it now. But when he's high enough medical, he'll come and do that. Because I don't want Donitz doing it. Because I'd rather train up quite largely to be, you know, the actual main surgeon. Because Donitz has a hundred other things he could be doing here. Right, so then we also want to do medically extract organs. Do forever. And any manufactured and any corpses. Like, literally anything. If you can do it, I'm happy to do it. Same with this as well. Let's actually see if we can put him to work immediately. So where is he? Quite largely. There you are. Right, okay, friend. You need material. I don't think we can do it from people, can we? I, I think, uh, sorry, we can only do it from people. I don't think we can do it from... Oh, you know what? We absolutely can. Right, okay. Uh, is it because it's rotten then, maybe? That would be a bit of a shame, wouldn't it? No storage space. Mecha Spider 1. Now, it, this is the only... With all of these mods enabled, this is the only glitch I've found so far. I can't find a way to, to set up a storage point for... For these creatures. It doesn't seem like it's even possible at all. Like even if you go to uh, corpses here. Just enable all corpses. It still doesn't allow storage space for the mecha spider. Let me just go through this quickly. See what I can find. Um, excuse me? So if I... Wait. Wait. Does it count as a food? Why? I don't get it. I, I have no idea where these... But I'm going to have to go through every single menu and see. It's not like manufactured. No way is it manufactured. Um, g genetic materials? I have no idea. Look, look, it's, it's here somewhere. There is a storage option for it, but God knows where. Um, for now, what I'll do then is we'll just go ahead and dump it absolutely anywhere that isn't right in the middle of the goddamn base. Um, if we do critical, so can it can it be hauled now? Hang on, we can try and narrow it down here then. No storage space. And then I enable chunks. Still no storage. Wait, corpses? Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe it's because I've got uh, disallow rotten on that. That might explain it. Okay. Well, look, it's there somewhere. It, it's unfortunately not, like, obvious at all. Because it's called, what is it, Mecha Spider? If we go right down to M, it's just not on the list. Um, It could be, like, a, I don't know, Insect Corpse, maybe? M is for Mecha, Mecha Spider Corpse. Okay, right, it's under Insects. That's why I couldn't find it. Okay, fair enough, then. Um, We'll just leave it out there for now. It must be because it's rotten that we can't do anything with it. I feel like we should give it a proper burial, though. So leaving it on the floor here seems a bit sad. Um, What about... Wait, what happened to that coffin? Um, Anton, uh, what happened to Antonson's coffin? Wait, hang on, no, that was Sedini. What happened to Antonson's coffin then? You know, what? I have no idea. It doesn't matter too much. What we'll do then is we'll build this boy a sarcophagus as well. You know, what? he helped out the colony. It was our first successfully crossbred creature. I feel like just leaving him out there to rot is a little bit disrespectful to the work we're doing, the work Donitz, and the work Igor before him. 
set out to do. Just leaving it out there rotten seems a bit odd. So, you know, I'm going to build a little monument for him right in the middle of, you know, we'll build it in front of the nuclear reactor. That seems like it can't backfire at all. There you go. You, you get to work on that. Um, right, so... The plan was, build the robots and let's get them outfitted with some different weapons. So I think at the fabrication bench is where we're going to find... Do you want to build, like, marine armor for them as well? Advanced components and plasteel. We've apparently got a shit ton of components. So let's go make marine armor. We're going to build 12 robots. I want them all armored up with the best weapons. Or not necessarily the best weapons we can get, them, but like a variety of weapons. Maybe even sending them, like... You know, let's do six on this one. Or let's do until we've got 12. No, 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 because then I'll start making new ones. Yeah, let's just do six per bench. Um, that way all our colonists have something to do. So we'll do six of those, six of those. Then I'm gonna set- that's basically like the sniper version of the charge rifle, right? So what we'll do then, we'll do, um, we'll do eight of these. No, oh, not brain scanners. Oh, we'll do four of those. And we'll do two of those. That way we can have eight and four. Okay, this- this works. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna spread the bill across two benches just so, you know, we've got a lot of good crafters in the colony. And I don't want one bench to have everything because that means that, you know, we're sort of wasting the other person's time. So we've got six of those, six of those, and then we're also gonna have another, um, what did I say, four charge rifles and two charge lancers? Yeah, well that's about right, isn't it? Alright, perfect. So we're gonna have Deathbot Army, completely armoured up. We're going to have them with charge weaponry as well. This is going to be so overpowered. Holy shit. This is going to be cool, though. I, th I hope, at least. Right, let's turn that one back on. Um, I think, also under production, we could probably build ourselves another arc furnace now that we've got the power for it. We've de well, we've definitely got the power for it. Um, although, it does take up a lot of room, and I we don't particularly need it for anything right now. Is there anything else I haven't built? Um, we haven't got a pharmaceuticals table. Why the hell have I not got a pharmaceutical? Well, let's get rid of this then and replace it with a pharmaceuticals table instead. That seems like I should have built one of those ages ago. So it requires... Um, okay, so it requires silicon and computer chips, both of which are the end game um, glitter tech resources, which are really, really difficult to build, unfortunately. Do we even have the research for that right now? Let's take a look. Um, where are you, glitter tech stuff? Uh, yeah, no, we don't even have that yet. I, I'll put it on the list of things to grab. Oh, you know what? Uh, let, let's actually do this properly. Right, get rid of this. So we need advanced factorization. Then we need robotic engineering. After that, we need electrolysis to make silicon. That will allow us to get into the atomic assembly and disassembly. Atomic assembly is the very, very end game stuff. That's where you can build, like, beta poly and alpha poly, which give, like, millions of hit points. Imagine titanium, but scaled up to 11. Like, these things were already really, really strong. It's, the, but, I mean, uh, just to put it into perspective, take a look at the hospital bed. 75,000 hit points for a bed is pretty ridiculous, you can imagine. Build, if you build, like, a turret out of that, you know, one of the big drawbacks to turrets, they explode, they take out your colonists. Building a turret out of that makes it almost, you know, even, like, building a whole room out of them, you just become, un un the game becomes unlosable at that stage because you've got these just infinite turrets that you can just repair after every raid, right? Assuming you you've got that micromanagement set up. It's pretty ridiculous. I might not use them because they are that overpowered, or at least maybe even tweak them in the, uh, I've never really done much remote modding, but I could try and tweak them and see, see if I can't bring them down to a more sensible level. I need to do something with these animals as well. I kind of feel bad just having them roaming around like this. They seem a bit bored, eh? Um... Let's, t let's take a look at the animal area. Where is it right now? Uh, expand allowed area. Animal is... You guys you guys can go up here. I don't mind too much. Go, go and have a nice swim in the river or whatever it is you horrible, horrible half-breed creatures do. All right, there we go. That should be better. Go, go and stand in the mass graves. There we go. Nice. So this is obviously going to be the main lab area that we need to do something with. So we need to rebuild all the crossbreeding stuff as well. So this is what these are. Genetic extraction tables. Yeah, so what we want then is... Um, the advanced gene pod, we'll put one of these down. The eldritch gene pod, we'll put all the gene pods next to one another, because, you know, that makes sense. Looks kind of nice as well, I think. Um, so we'll do that. Oh, man, those are different sizes, eh? That's a bit annoying. Okay, um, this is me, again, being a little bit anal about things here. Right, there we go. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then we'll have a recycler for any spare genes. Um, nearby, but I don't want to block this entire area off. We'll put it here. And then what else do we need? We need like a pulper just for making genetic material, don't we? It's a real shame you can't rotate these. So my biggest gripe with this whole one is so well done. Like some of the creatures look absolutely insane. Like that mech spider looked really cool. Um, th like this one looks really cool. And, and like this one I think fits the aesthetic. Same with the mecha muffalo. The, the um, diplo beetle looks a little bit ridiculous in Rimwad. But it, it's a real shame you can't rotate these. Otherwise it would be honestly like a 10 out of 10 mod. Right, gene recombiner. Mix genes for different species to produce genes for at random. Yes, we definitely want one of these things as well. We'll put that there. Um, actually, you know what? I'll move that one over as well. Symmetry is my middle name. Let's let's put that here. Is that symmetry? 
I mean, kind of, but it looks a bit odd as well, and I can't work out why. You know what, it doesn't matter too much. Just put, just put, just put it there. Look, this, is, this is something I shouldn't really be worrying about at all. We'll put a pulper there as well. I think that might even block the other thing. And that should be basically all we need for the lab. We can build a couple more pulpers if we need them, but I don't think it's worth expanding it much beyond that. Now, can we build a wall behind that, or do they take up... Oh, they take up the whole area they're building. Seriously? Okay, that's a bit annoying. We'll have to move that... Of all things to have to move, the beekeeping workbench can go somewhere else. I'm, I don't really mind about that too much. Now what we can do is also reinstall these martial arts targets something that are a bit more practical. Oh, we already have a load set up, apparently. Um, a couple more definitely won't hurt, eh? Uh, so that can move, move to there. We'll move the horseshoe pins out of the lab because that doesn't seem entirely appropriate anymore. So put that one there. Black market trader. Okay, let's take a look then. So one of you said that we have a better negotiator than Donitz. Or we might have a better negotiator. So Donitz has 13. Mason has 10. Galileo has 14. You're bang on. How do you guys notice this stuff? I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm paying attention to, like, you know, recording, sound stuff as well. I, don't, I just don't pick up on these all minor details, which is, you know, kind of the point of room all day. Right. Okay. Send you off to the black market trader. Let's see here. So they actually have, holy shit, they actually have the computer components and the magnetic cores. These are the very, very end game glitter tech resources, the manufactured resources. They take so long to build. They're like the most advanced of advanced components you can build, right? Uh, let's take a look. So they are, they're 12, 1,200 market value. So honestly, their price isn't too terrible for this. Um, it's 1.4 times, but it's minus 21% because of our negotiator. And that's not a bad price. Oh shit, we have no beacon set up in the new stockpile. Right, okay, that's a little bit of a shame then. Um, that's also something I should be working on immediately. Right, let's go, what is that, under misc? I can never remember, oh my god. I just started getting used to room one, like I said, I've, I've completely ruined it for myself. Right, so we'll put down a couple of these. I don't want too many. Um, just enough to basically cover the whole base should be fine. I don't want to go too crazy with this. Uh, we'll put one there, and then we'll also put one we'll put one there as well. It's a little bit of a waste, but it should cover the entire thing at that point. There we go. Alright, so that one's covered, that one's covered. And those are our only stockpiles right now, so that should be that good. Go Frenzy Tay. Thank you, Tay the robot. Seems a bit weird that an Android can get inspired, unless it's, it's letting on a bit more than, it's, uh, th than you know we've programmed it to have. Right, okay, let's get this bench moved, or at least destroyed. Donuts, what are you doing? You're mining the deep mine. Now, let's take a look at our resources right now and see what we're looking at. Um, man, 12,000 silver is a lot, eh? We'd be able to buy a decent amount from that black market trader. Are the beacons set up? They are. Fishing tragedy. Oh, no. What a shame. Finally, some difficulty in this playthrough, eh? I might have to crank up the difficulty some more. The issue is, you know, last time I said that, it completely wiped out the last colony. I need to find a mod that makes raids better. Or makes them more challenging without making them, you know, completely insurmountable. That would be kind of nice. Right, let's build this cross here. Um, get these beacons set up. And this one also could do with... Oh, I should have done it vertically. Oh, that doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, let's send Donitz over... Oh, no, wait, hang on. It was Galileo was our better trader, eh? Uh, call the black market trader again. Let's buy some of those magnetic coils. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, we could buy... Oh, the computer, computer components are really cheap as well. How many can we even get? Oh, man, we can almost get all of them. I'd like to buy all of them, so we'll sell them our shells here. Sell them Jake, because I'm never going to use that. We could sell them Titanium. Oh my god, if we sell them Titanium, we could absolutely buy everything they've got. Titanium is so overpowered, I might need to nerf this as well. Um, I'd like to, you know, over the course of maybe a couple of playthroughs, get a really nice mod pack built up for anything we do in the future, but obviously balancing as we go. I think after this playthrough, I'll, I'll take note of everything that's sort of a little bit unbalanced, like the Titanium in particular. Try and get all of these mods. I'll release like a big com compatibility patch if I can for all of these mods making it work together as, as like as well as possible as as they were sort of intent almost as if they were intended to be played together you know um because i think that'll just make this whole experience a lot better oh it's kind of fun to mess around with all these mods but it does feel like it takes away completely from the remote experience hey playing with all of this really broken op shit especially when the raids like like i was saying a minute ago the raids really don't seem threatening there's no good middle ground it's either really really weak or just insurmountably strong and wipes you out instantly like we found with the last colony um be really nice. If any of you know a mod that, that definitely suits that middle ground that I'm after, please, for the love of God, let me know, because that'd be so good. Right. Okay, so we can sell them all of this crap. Wait, hang on. Are we still... Wait, what the hell have I bought from them that's... Um... Wait, seriously? Oh, right, I only sold them 500 in the end, I remember. All right, there we go. All right, um, sell them all this stuff, then. There we go. I'm, I'm really glad I'm just getting rid of all of this, because it's taking up so much storage space as well. All right. Um, get rid of the tukes. Oh, they got nano suits. Should we put those, put the robots in those? Those are basically, um, upgraded versions of, oh man, they've got fiber skin suits. Oh, please don't do it. These things are so OP. I've got to buy them. I've, I've got to buy them. <laughs> uh, I need to balance this somewhat. 
Uh, but I will buy all the OP shit so I never have to worry about balancing. Okay, well, at least we can offload some more titanium, eh? So the fiber skin suits are the things that just increase work speed, you know? Um, kind of OP again, but these are the only plus 70% ones. There is a type of skin suit that is plus 400% work speed, which was the ones we were using in the last series. Massively OP. I'm never going to use them if we find them in this series. Because they're just completely broken. Right, what was if we sell them? Oh, so we can, can wait a thousand. You know what? I'll take it. That's a good deal. Um, oh my god, seriously, that's what... Hey, speak of the devil. So, uh, the red stalk colour some... I'm, I'm looking for a target to send all my death bots to. This is pretty convenient. Okay, so we've got these boys here. Pretty significant. Um, we've also got... Okay, these ones here. So, they're coming in from either side of the map. Sending in sappers. So, how the fuck are they going to sap through this? I reckon they might go through here. Because this is shallow water, so they can walk through this. They might hit here. Um, they might also hit the... Where else? So they might go through... Oh, this door here is, like, quite an obvious site that they probably hit as well. Besides that, I'm not really sure they could attack this bit here. That's always possible. I don't think they will, but it's all... We'll just wait and see, eh? So what was the point of me guessing when we can actually find out for ourselves? Alright, team. Um, your mission, if you choose to accept it, is, uh, not have us completely killed. I should have got rid of this door. I think this auto door is what's causing them to actually spawn in and not go through the kill box. Right, what are they... Oh, they're actually just tunneling straight through. My friend, that's going to take you years. Okay, Donuts, tidy them up, friend. Actually, go and get that dealt with. Right, uh, oh shit, that's a lot of them. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. Oh, they are, they are all meeting up, though, which is pretty good for us. Let's just try and bait them through the kill box. We'll stand everybody else at the kill box. So, uh, it's the last three of them can't fight in combat. Oh my god, again, I've completely forgotten. Um, let's take a look. Bio. Hey, to what type's none? Hey, uh, get on the gun. He's a brawler, but it won't matter if he's on a gun complex, because that doesn't count as having, a, obviously, a ranged weapon equipped. Right, get you two boys over there. You three over there. We'll move you here as well. How's Igor doing these days? Let's so probably check how Eagle's doing. Oh, Robot Trader. Hey, that's really good news. Assuming we don't get completely wiped out here. Um, how are they doing? Oh, they're actually through. <laughs> we could stand on the other side of the freezer and just absolutely glow them. I'm actually just going to send Donuts to attack them, and hopefully they go ahead and assault the colony with that. I mean, they're coming at us with spears, so I'm not too concerned right now. We've got Donitz the Bionic Man. Okay, they do have Peeler, so be careful. Come on. No, no, no. Don't go through there. Hey. Hey, get out of there. Do not... Uh, oh, gosh. That's a lot of arrows. Holy shit. Uh, can you not... Wait, fire? Where, where is fire? Oh, right. They're, they're on fire. Okay. Yeah, no, this is clearly not going to work in time. So we'll dispatch half of you to uh, Operation... Holy shit, they're coming in the freezer. Uh, the other half of you, <laughs> this is not half at all, it's four people and we've got like a 12-man colony. The other half of you are going to go into Operation, Jesus Christ, please don't destroy my bedroom. My, my bed, it's so expensive, please. Uh, I just got that from Ikea. Move, <laughs> a, a name pending. Right, move you over to the freezer as well. Let's glow them. If only we got our artificial intelligence, like, combat system set up, eh? Right, um, what are you afraid of? Everything. You could have just said absolutely everything. Uh, I hate some labor. So, yeah, but you are capable of violent, though, which is what I like to hear. Let's go get you a weapon, then, pal. Um, oh, I sold them all. <sighs> it's a lesson learned. Right, you move over here. You know what? You and Chode can, can... You give Chode moral support. You stand at the kill box. Right, here we go. Where's Donitz? Donitz, I need you in operation. Uh, please defend my bedroom, for the love of God. I forget what I call it now. Right, they're almost into the freezer. Oh, maybe, maybe I spoke too soon. I was like, oh, man, we need some challenging raids. Maybe this is it. Okay, I'll, I'll here. move. Hey. Oh, I'm clicking on the meat. So they can steal what they can and leave? What the fuck are they going to steal? Wait, what are they going to steal? Oh, they're in the bedroom. Okay, here we go, team. They're in the bedroom. We are absolutely tearing them apart. There we go, they're fleeing. Right, these ones are still attacking. So they're coming in two separate groups. That's all right, though. Um, you guys might want to... Go ahead and put the fire out and go and stand down for a bit. Oh, God. They are going out of the water to go and hunt them down. They? Hauling bot. <sighs> Fucking hauling bot every single time. Squirrel self-tamed. In the heat of battle, the squirrel saw our bravery and decided to join us. Squirrel, you are going to be turned into a horrible half-breed. That was a horrible mistake. Okay, Operation Defend the Freezer is not going well at all. Donuts, we're going to need some backup here, pal. Um, in fact, you know what? Everybody with a pair of hands. Um, not that I'm handless or anything, but... Oh, God. Jesus. Okay, Operation Defend the Freezer was Rat 1. F's in chat, please, for Rat 1. I didn't even realise we had a pet rat, but apparently uh, apparently we did. Tay. Tay, what are you doing? Oh! 
they can go into combat mode, but they don't have any training in combat because we researched combat afterwards. Right, okay. Okay, you can piss off then. Goodbye. Thank you for turning up. We haven't lost anyone, though. I believe they'll start. Okay, they're, they're fleeing. Right, they're fleeing. Okay, there we go. Everybody stand down. Get to the new and improved. Hey, we can at least test out field test of the new and improved hospital. That's what I like to see. We've got some good genetic material as well. You know, I said we were going out hunting this episode, but unfortunately it's taken quite a little bit longer than I thought. You know, we're still trying to rebuild a little bit here and there. Um, but hey, they, they bought it to us, so that saved us some time, eh? Right. Okay, you guys you guys just stop. You guys can stop now. We're good. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and click allow all on that. And uh, get to bed and go and heal yourselves up, friends. Right. Uh, minor break risk. Call this treatment. Absolutely, everybody. Understandable. Um, bed rest should be high up on the priority there. Quite largely too busy. What have you done? Oh, brain. <gasps> brain. That's what we're after. <laughs> what have you done? Holy shit. Is this legal? Are you all right with that? Body purist uh, observed corpse times three. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. They're, they're being treated. They're okay. We're good. Who else needs treatment then? Mason, Euphrates. I'm hoping that everything will just go. Yeah, Euphrates is good. Uh, Euphrates is not good. Uh, Euphrates, why are you not... Wait, is better I set low on him for some reason? Uh, no, he's just being a shit. Hey, go to bed so we can heal you? Thank you. Right. Donitz has healed him. Right, there we go. We should be good then. Now, it was all bruises and things like that, so we shouldn't be at any risk of uh, anybody dying or anything like that. The rain has started, so we haven't got to worry about fire. Oh my god, they burned the bridge out. That's a little bit annoying. But it's not really too much, though. Right, those can rebuild, and this can also rebuild whenever you're ready. Uh, excuse me? Hey, there we go. We got plenty of brains. I'm really interested to see what these brains in a jar do, although we're quite far away from the research because of, you know, the raid thing. That was pretty good. Um, oh my god. Can we still use them? Oh my god, we can still break them down for genetic material as well. This is a mess. This is a, a this is a ridiculous amount of kidneys. This is actually a disgusting amount of kidneys. Six feet. Uh, Eleven arms. Sixteen lungs. <laughs> um, maybe we should mince it into kibble or something? I mean, we could sell it, but it seems a... Well, we've got a booming organ business. What can I say? Now, before I forget, I need to send... Who's our good trader? It's Galileo, isn't it? Galileo, go speak to the robot trader, because if they've got any hauling bots or even cleaning bots, another cleaning bot definitely wouldn't hurt. Um, oh, they've got a Persona Core. Tay, you're getting that upgrade. Holy shit, let's upgrade Tay as well, then. Right, boom. Uh, Tay, you, my friend, are going to go health. Uh, wait, what? Like, oh, we have to deactivate her first. Right, okay. Um, let's go health. Wait, how do we deactivate? Uh, robot turn off? How do... <laughs> Maybe we have to do it with a new model. You know what, Tay? You'll, you'll be reborn in a new body. We'll, we'll rename them Tay 2. Uh, Tay 2 improved electric boogaloo. Okay, well, that was pretty good. Um, this, though, this is a mess. 11... 29 eyeballs. What a, what a great place to leave it. Hey, I think we I think I've overran things anyway, but that was a pretty good return to RimWorld. This should t tell you everything I think we need to know about things here. Thank you all for watching. Next episode, I am going to build that Deathbot army. That, that's, that's on the list of things to do. We've got everything set up now, so it's just a case of pressing the button, activating it. You know, uh, did we turn out any of the weapons that I asked them to do as well? Um, no. Do we get any of the armor done? Oh, we got some, uh, we got some old marine armor. Again, I think the raid just swallowed up so much time this episode. Holy shit. Well, either way, that was pretty cool. We've got plenty of brains. Next episode, test out the brain in the jar, build the Deathbot army so that we can start doing some more crossbreeding. Thank you all for watching. Hope you're still enjoying the series. I think it's... I think we're only just starting to scratch the surface. We are getting to the end game, but that's where a lot of this stuff is really going to come into its own. We're going to see some of these really cool crossbreeding type things. I only give a shout out to all of my insane top tier level patrons for their support on this series. Big shout out to Big Dick Timmy, Zachary Harris, Sarik, Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Haydog, Sidini, Paul, Necrophil and Croesus, I'm the Lizard King, Josh Lynn, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Tyler Birch, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Powers Presley, Logan Thorne, Conspire Z, Orcs Wolf, Average Gamer 419, Escape, Zazzy7011 and Jackson Woodman for the support of the insane tier lovers on Patreon. Thank you all for that. And as well to Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon Montoniak, Euphrates, Facundo Vasquez, Quasar Fox, Jack Allen, Gabriel Randers, Llewellyn Thomas, Nathan Flores, Yuan DeVries, Duncan217, Zach McDougall, Joseph Beer, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Chris, Surthal the Swede, Asra, Nick, Fraser Brennan, Kevin Saunders, Betamus Max, The Insane Pickle, and in person, and Igor Kozak. Holy shit. I'm a bit out of practice with that. Man, that was that was taxing on the brain. Christmas has pickled it. Thanks for watching.